Hi, this is Brian Roman with Backpack Tactics. Today I want to talk about uh, what you should do if you find yourself in a situation where you'd like to change email accounts, but you don't want to go through all the work of transferring all of your emails over, all of your data over, um, your contacts, etc. You just don't want to deal with the hassle. Um, well, Gmail and Google Apps has a pretty convenient way to smooth over the process for you for converting to a Google Mail account. And I wanted to walk through that with you today, show how they can make the process pretty painless. Uh, go up to Settings in your Google Mail account. Go to the tab called Accounts and Import. One of the buttons here says, you know, import mail and contacts, and you can do this from Yahoo, Hotmail, AOL. Um, just click on the button there, and it asks you, you know, what account do you want to get mail from, and you just put in whatever you need to. Uh, and click through the screens. I not I don't have an account to import um, for you directly, but I'll show you what screens you're going to get. Um, first of all, you might be wondering, you know, what what email accounts can this import from? And Google has a list of these too. If you just click on learn more, this little button learn more, which is or the link learn more next to this button, it'll give you a bunch of information too. It actually has a really nice walkthrough. I'm going to show you some of those pages. Here's the master list uh, from Gmail of all of the accounts that you can import from. So everything from AOL all the way down to Yandex. So uh, a lot of different web services. So you'll be able to import from any of those. And you'll basically just click through the screens. It'll ask you for uh, password, etc it will ultimately ask you which things you want to import. So step two is simply, you know, which, which items do you want to transfer over? Contacts, mail, uh, obviously. Um, you can even do, and this is pretty advanced, you can even tell it to import mail for the next 30 days. So it gives you a, a, a whole month of window where you can still have that other account be active and access the mail from your Gmail account and give you time to notify people, okay, yeah, I've gotten a new email address, please send it to me uh, at this address from now on. And you can also apply a label so that anything you're getting in from your old email account, uh, you can apply a certain label. You might call the label, uh, you know, Hotmail, something like that. And you just put that in and then click Start Import. And um, you'd see it pop in right here. Now, it might take a few days to do this. Uh, it will at least take, you know, a couple hours to import all of your mail and contacts and such. It's kind of a slow import, and it goes in waves. So don't panic if it's not... Um, pushing everything over immediately or if it's not if after a couple hours you see a bunch of emails in there but not but not all of your emails are there just just give it a couple days to synchronize everything and you should have everything floating into your inbox so this is how you transfer from an old email account to a Gmail account Pretty slick and simple, not as difficult as you might imagine. Probably the most difficult part of it would be trying to communicate with others and uh, let them know what your new email address is. But there are very few uh, email services out there that will give you that 30-day window like Google Mail does, which is very nice. So that's how you switch to using Gmail. This is Brian Roman with Backpack Tactics. Thanks for listening.